My name is Dr. Senai Aksoy. I am a gynecologist and fertility expert in Istanbul. This video is made to provide patients with a simple explanation of the in vitro fertilization or IVF procedure. Follicle stimulating hormone or FSH is a hormone produced by the brain and is the hormone responsible for developing one egg every month in women. In the IVF procedure, women are injected with high doses of FSH in order to make the ovaries produce more than one egg. This stage is called ovulation induction, and the name of the injection drug is Gonal F. Injections start on the second day of the menstrual cycle and take about 11 days, during which we make three to four vaginal ultrasounds to follow up on the growth of the eggs. When the eggs reach 17 to 20 millimeters of diameter, HCG, or Ovitrol, will be injected in order to trigger ovulation. 48 hours after this injection, ovulation will begin. The eggs will be retrieved before that, typically 35 to 36 hours after the injection. For the egg retrieval procedure, either local or general anesthesia can be used. To retrieve the eggs, we use vaginal ultrasound and aspirate the eggs with a needle through the vagina. We retrieve 8 to 10 eggs on average. This procedure takes 15 minutes. The retrieved eggs will be put together with the sperms from the male, on average about 75,000 sperms per egg, for fertilization. In case sperm count or motility is low, the micro-injection, or ICSID technique, will be used. In this technique, a single sperm will be injected into the egg under a microscope. 24 hours after fertilization, the eggs will be divided into two, and these will now be called embryos. In 72 hours, the number of cells will be six or eight. At this point, most of the embryo transfer will be made. Sometimes transfer is made on the fifth day when there will be a much larger number of cells present. Embryos with the best quality are then chosen for the transfer. In Turkey, we are allowed to transfer one embryo for patients under the age of 35 and two for those over the age of 35 in order to prevent risky multiple pregnancies. If there are extra embryos of good quality which we haven't used, we can freeze them for future use. These will be IVF cycles without the need for the medication stage. Embryo transfer does not require any anesthesia. It's a pleasant and painless operation. The embryos are then transferred into the uterus through the vagina using a very thin plastic catheter. Twelve days after the transfer, we do the pregnancy test, the most exciting part of the whole thing and hopefully the happiest.